everybody, Thomas here. How you doing? Welcome back to SFF 180. You hear the cicadas and the crickets and all the chirpy little bugs. That's because I'm out here late at night. I'm on my front porch where I like to come uh, when it's reasonably decent weather uh, outside to read. <laughs> Even though it's very late at night, I'm lucky enough to be able to do that where I am. I thought that I would give you a quick rundown of my TBR for Space Opera September this year. I didn't uh, tell everyone my TBR last year. I didn't want to seem like I was going to be overly influencing what people might read. Turns out you guys did such a great job of, you know, finding awesome things of your own to read that uh, I'm not really all that worried about it this year. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you know what is on my stack uh, for the rerun of the first season of Space Opera September. Now, first off, if you need to remember what the challenges were, the specific challenges were, go ahead and uh, check out the original video. Once again, it will lay it all out. But I am starting out this year uh, with challenge number one, uh, which is to read a space opera novella. And uh, I can't actually show you uh, the book, because uh, it's on here. Um, but I'm going to be reading a novella that is by someone who happens to also be a booktuber. So that's kind of neat. But I'm going to be reading a book called Essex Colony. And the author of this is Leah Cooper. Like I said, she's a booktuber. She has her own channel. I think it's just called Leah Cooper. Uh, Maybe wrong about that, but look her up. I'll put her link down below. And uh, this is the first volume in something that she's writing called The Moon Mirror. That's uh, the series. And I'll give you a quick uh, description of it. Uh, it says, it's been 227 days since Essex Colony's last transmission. Dispatched to the surface of Essex Prime and tasked with discovering what happened to the colony, Dr. Soren Ingram discovers that most of the colonists are dead, and the surviving executive officer, officer excuse me, Aline Astor, has turned into a ravening wolf beast. I'm going to say that's bad. Uh, the human survivors claim the Exo and her Lunaran fellows went mad and killed everyone, but Soren has her doubts. Following Esther's testimony, as well as clues left behind, Soren embarks on a fact-finding mission to retrace the colony's last steps before disaster struck. Uh, soon she'll discover more than uncertainty lurks in the dark spaces of the world. Okay, and so that is Essex Colony. And, um, yeah, so that will actually, that's actually going to cover me for um, both challenge number one, which is Rita Novella, and challenge number 2B, which is read a space opera written by an author belonging to a marginalized identity. And, you know, this is uh, LGBT uh, SF. So um, there we go. Now, for challenge 2A, which is just read any space opera written by a woman. Oh, wait a minute, I'm wrong. It's two space operas written by women. <laughs> Good job, Thomas. You forgot your own rules. Anyway, uh, the first of these is going to be Architects of Memory by uh, Karen Osborne. And the next will be Persephone Station, written by my dear old friend Stina Light. And this one will also cover me for Challenge 4, which is read a space opera, 500 pages are over. And this one just hits 500 pages. So there we go. That's 2A and 4 covered. And finally, for Challenge 3, which is read a space opera published before you were born, I'm going to be reading this old thing. This is an old book by Harry Harrison uh, called Planet of the Damned. Doesn't sound like a nice planet to be on. Harry Harrison may be best known to some of you for writing a book called Make Room, Make Room, which was turned into the movie Soylent Green with Char Charlton Heston way back in the day. You may, you know, know about that. Oh, Soylent Green is people. That one? Yeah. So he wrote the original novel to that. And this one is kind of neat because it will also dovetail with my work that I'm doing for my reading the Hugos series, because this book came out in 1962, and it was a finalist. It didn't win, but it was a best novel finalist for the Hugo the year it came out. So again, killing a couple of birds with one stone here. And if I have time left over, I'm going to go ahead and knock out both of Valerie Valdez's books here, that chilling effect and the sequel to it, which is, I believe, coming out this month as well, uh, Prime Deceptions. So I have both of those, and I missed doing this one last year. I really wanted to read it, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just uh, take the opportunity to catch up. And so there you have it. That is my Space Opera September TBR. What is yours? I know some of you have been posting it in the Goodreads group. If you want to also post in the comments, or again, if you're a booktuber and you want to go ahead and do a quick little video with your Space Opera September TBR, by all means do that. 
But um, other than that, I hope you guys have a terrific readathon. Thank you once again for, you know, being part of it all. And a quick note, uh, last year, apparently some people who emailed me to request their certificates at the end of the readathon didn't get them. I did find that some requests, like a year later, it took me a year, and I'm so embarrassed about this, and I'm very sorry to anyone who was impacted by it. Some of those got filtered into my, you know, junk mail folder. Don't know why. But I think I've gone ahead and taken care of that. So if you asked for a certificate last year and you didn't get it, please, if you get a chance, if you think of it, uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, again, send me the request one more time and I'll get that to you right away. And if you didn't request a certificate last year, you thought, ah, I'm not going to bother with it. But in retrospect, maybe you'd like one. I don't mind doing them. They're fun to do and they're fun to send people. So yeah, uh, don't hesitate to send the request in if, if you really want one. I enjoy it. It's all part of the fun of it. So other than that, I've got nothing else for you tonight. Uh, I've got some more reviews in the dugout. Hopefully we'll be coming up by the weekend. And this coming Sunday, don't forget the BookTube SFF Awards live show. That will be at 2 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. I think we're on Standard Time at the moment. Either. <laughs> Central either way. And that will be on Kitty G's channel. Okay, so be ready for that. And until I see all of you next time, stay safe and healthy and happy reading.